What's up, guys? Hello, everyone. Back with another video. Wizards vs. Magic game review. I'm going to try to keep this one short tonight. The Wizards beat the Orlando Magic 125 to 119. Very, very unexpected game tonight from our player of the game. We're going to give player of the game to Jan Mahinmi, none other than Jan Mahinmi. Oh, broke out the red hair again for tonight. You know, special occasion, broke out the Wizards jersey. Jan Mahinmi with 17 points tonight off the bench. I think that Jan Mahinmi could have went for... 20, a career high 20 points tonight, easily. His career high has been 19. He could have went for a career high 20 tonight. If it wasn't for Scott Brooks, he was just being a hater tonight, taking Yama Himi out of the game for Gorta. And I'm just like, why? He played, only played 21 minutes. I mean, he could have played more. It's not like he was just like over, like he's going to fall over and die. He could have played more time. Anyway, this game was close, very close. Lead was never super huge for either team. This game was kind of a close one. I just, just don't, it's just, I don't know. Anyways, we are going to get into our statistics. I'm not sure how to pronounce his name, but Aaron Afalo, six points. DJ Augustine only got one point off of his free throw. Jonia had nine points. Maurice Space Spates had six points. He also had a lot of good defensive plays in there. Like he is so big. He is so big, bro. He's huge. He had two rebounds as well. This guy, a one do, two points, two assists. Am I the only one that thinks he looks like Stanley Johnson? Um, Mario Jonia with nine points, five rebounds, one assist. Evan Fournier had ten points. He has been shooting well from three this year. He did all right. It wasn't like a spectacular game for him, but he contributed. Alfred Payton had 27 points. And, of course, like, we always have the worst time keeping Alfred Payton in front of, like, he just zooms by. I think that he doesn't get the credit that he deserves for the type of player that he is. He's very fast, and he gets into the paint very easily. Like, there is no defense being played tonight, especially not on Payton. And especially not on Bismack Biombo, who we're going to get to in a second. Like, there's no defense being played on them. And Elford was doing a very good job getting into the paint and finishing. He had 27 points, 8 assists, 5 rebounds. Bismack Biombo had his career high game tonight. He had 21 points. He's like, come on now. 4 assists, 13 rebounds. He was killing us on the boards. He was killing us. Like, he was unstoppable like they were not like there was no defense being played on him he was unstoppable tonight like he got his career on they weren't guarding the pick and roll they were not guarding they were doing awful on transition defense like Wizards got to get it together Aaron Gordon had 14 points and he made like four three or four of his three so he was shooting well from three tonight did a good job guarding Bradley Beal. He had seven assists as well and ten rebounds. So he was active tonight, very active. Jonathan Simmons as well. Jonathan Simmons had a very Jonathan Simmons game, like finishing, you know, like getting into the lane and making tough shots and making his jump shots. He did well. He had 23 points and five assists. Really good game from Jay Sims. Sato, like the bench. <clears throat> Bench production wasn't like, that's crazy because I feel like I had so much to say before this, but the bench production was decent tonight. It wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. Mike Scott had six points. Thomas Sardarensi with four. Like I said, Yama Himi had, his, had 17 points. Could have had a career high if, if Scott wasn't being a hater tonight and trying to put Gorta in the game. Definitely could have more points. Kelly Oubre with 10 points, 1 assist, 7 rebounds. John Wall and Bradley Bill combined for 60 points. Martin Gortat with 12. He had to have a good showing tonight because he is trying to 
work his way back onto the magic. Because apparently he doesn't see himself in the league very much longer. And he is trying to retire on the magic. So he had to come out with a good showing tonight to show the magic like he still got it. Anyway, <laughs> Otto Porter had nine. Marquise Morris was seven. <clears throat> Porter, like I said, I really only really like games with Porter when he does really well. Like, I don't like games where Porter is not shooting awesome. I don't like those kind of games. Those type of games aren't exciting for me. I have to see somebody off the bench step up, preferably Porter, because he is being, because he is supposed to be our third option. I'm not going to bring anything else into that, nothing else. But he is supposed to be our third option. So I like to see him contribute more than nine points. But it wasn't like he wasn't taking shots. He just wasn't making them. A lot of his shots came off balance. Tough shots, circuit shots. They weren't easy at all. Excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Wall had a really great night. Really, There was like no defense being played, but Wall had a couple really great defensive plays in the fourth. Made a bunch of tough shots in the fourth and two great blocks on Eric Gordon in the fourth to help us steal this one. I already knew Bill wasn't going to make both free, throw, be, both free throws because I'm a Wizards fan. I picked it up. Bill's not clutch. Like, if it's to ice the game, it's not going. Um, Yeah. Y'all made me had a great night. When, when they put Gortat in there, I was like, for what? For what? You want to put Gortat for what? Like when Arthur the kid had that interview and they're like, Arthur, would you compromise if you found a man that you wanted to be with? And she's like, compromise? Compromise for what? You want to be with me and I have to compromise? Compromise for what? That's how I felt. Compromise for what? Put put Gortat in for what? <clears throat> in anyways, we got the win. Hopefully we get the win tomorrow against the Brooklyn Nets because the Brooklyn Nets definitely have our number. Definitely have our number. And it'll be great. To win against them. I think we only have three games against them this season. Because, you know, in the East, there's always one team where you only have three games against them. And I think the Nets are that team for us. So we need to get at least one win against them because we can't lose this season series to the Nets. Like, that's just awful. Anyways, I think that is the end of this game. And the review is going to be short tonight. So, peace, guys. Peace, guys.